Hello and welcome, welcome, welcome. Once again, let's open up to some cruel angels thesis lo-fi and then from there i think we're uh, just shuffling through the old soundtrack let's get another um yeah let's get 14 gens i played a lot of um of prelude and we failed a lot of times so i'm definitely open to the idea that we should maybe not do that <laughs> for a bit I don't know, this is an interesting start in that there's a big asteroid, but other than that, it's fine. Obviously, the terraforming Ganymede's good, but, like, for points at the end, if you had terra, like, we could do the Valley Trust and see what comes up, but, like, honestly, like, unless it's a whole bunch of, like, steel production, I'm probably gonna forfeit. Eh, there's the steel, okay. Let's, uh, let's roll with that, then. Um... And I think with the steel production, the best thing that we can do is just get our energy production up a little bit. It's not that sexy, but it will turn into heat pretty quickly. And quite frankly, maybe all of this is good. And we just keep blasting the energy. I always want to make um, Thorgate work, the one that gives you a discount on energy tags. Ooh, helpful, helpful terraforming card. You know what? Let's take a... I'm going to finish that thought first. I always want to play Thorgate, the one that gives you a discount on energy tags, because I think it's viable, but it never ends up being. And then here, we've got a giant ice asteroid. And if we look at it, crash it, the bigger, the better. Love that. I actually don't know the flavor text on Martian Survey. Probably just something like, lots of deposits can be identified before excavation. A thorough investigation of the geology of Mars. A little bit more simple than what I had gone for. Steelworks make steel, baby. Let's go. Industry. Turning soil into steel and oxygen. Sounds good. Just takes a lot of energy. All right. Well, that was fun. Let's, um, honestly, how can we not grab steelworks? Like, I, I don't want to succumb to the ox gang at all, but we did just get four energy production as if i had ox gang in my freaking hand so we may as well get the benefit of that though we have like way too much um this could really help too uh we're gonna have way too much steel if you think about it because underground city makes a ton of steel and all the other things so like oh my god how are we going to get to Saleta? Is it just by not doing anything this turn? Because that's like going to get us... We're going to have 15 more dollars. That's not even close. We could have got Saleta turn 6 or 7. I'll have to think about it. Though I don't want to give up on other uh, things. The titanium's covered, unfortunately. I was thinking about going there. Hmm. Doo, doo, doo. Let's just go for the card. Love optimal arrow breaking with three space events in hand. So if I pass now, we will have just enough to play uh, Saleta, but that might get ruined by the fact that a good card comes up. Arguably, Noctis City is a good card, okay? It, it is for a couple of reasons especially because we're gonna have so much steel so every building tag we get is a blessing uh but for now getting saleta on turn six is what we need we do need oceans if we keep going with the energy there could be a play here i don't think we're going jovian strats And, like, we do have TR. I like the idea of physics complex in the future. I need more things to do with building tags. Or with uh, our steel. Honestly, it's probably a good time to start with the optimal arrow breaking. I just don't know where to put it. 
If anywhere, I think it would go down here, and then I would put it for a titanium. Let's pass. It's kind of poopy, but it'll pass. Media group! Uh, I can't not grab mineral deposits when I have media group. It's too good a combination. But I acknowledge that it's really not powerful when you have 21 steel in hand. Right? Like, I acknowledge that it's bad it doesn't stop me from making bad decisions and quite frankly i probably should have done that for card draw but i just wanted to make sure i got a little bit of synergy with these placements hey gg factories and that keeps our steel or our energy at four our energy production up all right Let's pass. Gen 9. Plenty of time. Here's some good cards. Heat bumps. I don't know that we need heat bumps. Plus or minus 2. Meh. We do like wild tags though. You never know when you need to have 3 plant tags played to get a bunch of plant production. And like look at the oxygen. Whole oh, baby. Oh, baby. So, optimal arrow breaking makes sense. Now I have both event rebates. So, anything that's an a space event and anything that's an event at all. So, this is six bucks back, plus three heat, plus the two titanium. I mean, we're just making profit. Um, And I think from there we get the energy up. That makes sense to me. Soon enough, I'm going to be thinking about playing that physics complex and not getting oxygen anymore, but we need our oxygen a little bit higher. Arctic algae, though. Ooh. Kelp or water imports is also fun, but no thanks. Immigrant city. I don't even know where I want to put immigrant city with so, like... With nothing on the board, you know? Arctic algae is about to get wrecked, too. I think we just start with Immigrant City. We overpay. And we put it down here for a card. Black Polar Dust. Is good. And I want to play it. But, I'm going to play a plantation instead. Uh, uh, yeah. Insulation. Talk to me about insulation. What if I took 13 income right now? 1, 2, 3, 4. I got 4 heat bumps in hand. 2 more with this production. Insulation is going to be helpful. It's going to be pretty good. This is fine, and this is fine. These are some, like, points and stuff. Let's, um, let's take a quick peek at what's going on. Ooh. All right. I need to play. And this is what's tricky, is I have so little actual cash. So I play Arctic Algae, and now I can't play these space events. But... I can at least play black polar dust. That gets us a ton of plants, which we like. Come over here and we put the city down. And. And then what? Do I sell cards to make insulation playable? I don't think so. We need to play those freaking space cards. I got 37 income. Ooh. These are good. But, like, if I could play Nitrogen Rich Asteroid, we'd be better off. Let's just say that. Um, Big Asteroid, I'm looking at you. You're going to end up making me get all the way up to that ocean. If I had a little bit more energy, we would uh, be popping, but we don't. So what does that mean for us? Uh, 
uh, means we have to play this and do every single one over. It means we do this, but can I please get an energy production? I cannot. Okay, well, let's look for a card draw. Well, we bop. I mean, that's, that's not energy, but it is something to do. I was hoping to get physics complex at one point, but that's something entirely different that I accept because at least it uses our resources. Now what's better, moss or rad suits? Almost definitely moss. We still have two turns. We still have two turns, so there's... Don't need demos down. Everything else is, is basically garbage other than getting an energy production if we really need it. Food factory is at least something to do with our steel. I think we have to giant ice asteroid. Or we need so many oceans. Nitrogen rich though feels so right. Doesn't it? Don't it? Don't it feel good? Oh, that's so much. And I have enough for Ice Asteroid after that? Oh, well, that's our lucky day. Let's go get those cards. The nuke is not needed. Well, at least I don't hope it's not needed. Because I ain't grabbing it. Uh, one point animal seems good. I mean, even the food factory is honestly good at this point. Getting oceans. Remember, getting those oceans gives us two plants each, no matter where we put them because of our Arctic algae. So, like, we're good. It's, it's just getting four oceans in the last turn. That's interesting. Tundra farming over fish. Both of them have two points, but I can technically get another point by playing fish first. It's fine. Fish and then red suits. Okie dokie. 56 TR, baby. Okay, there's an ocean, actually. Look at that! Quantum Extractor. That's... It's not it, fam. You know what I should have done last round? I didn't realize I could have. Is... Uh, get the capital played. Now, I'm gonna do that because I'm a little scared. I could have played the capital by doing... These first ocean please uh we should have oceaned up here first actually for a card yeah at least it's a building tag um and then maximize plants please so now if we get one more energy production which i can do multiple ways so let's do it with uh solar power we get the capital and once again, we're just overpaying anything that needs steel. We're putting it in the pocket. We love it. We have two greeneries right now. We have a lot of cards that we can play. This goes here. This goes here. Oh, you know what? We should have grabbed our freaking card draw. What if this is oceans? It's not, but it could be. It was. And rovers, like, and, and those are still the best cards to play, because this not only would have been an ocean, it's the two animals, and the rovers would have given us money back on our freaking, oh my god, I can't, I'm, like, that's so dumb. And it's still worth playing, because we're still getting six bucks back on the place, man, but like, yikes, what a yikes. We're still getting a greenery. We gotta, we gotta get the two animals. That's, like, literally it would have been a free card. We would have had another, like, $18 from not buying an ocean. Um, we already have a greenery coming in. We don't have any Jovians for you. Tundra Farming has more points. One, two, I mean, we have enough cards that we can sell. I don't think we can get up to kelp farming, but we can get up to wave power. But we could have, we could have got kelp farming and wave power had it not been for the fact that I uh, misplayed with the card draw. Still though, we actually did spend most of our steel. 
And we did send up selling our event to get more steel, unfortunately, but that's fine. A couple of double adjacencies, good number of greeneries. Don't feel like any of our placements were wasted. Only a 91. And that's what happens when you rely on Ox Gang, to be honest. But without Ox Gang, we were losing that. Hands down. Happy just to get a win. I wasn't even going to do the run unless our prelude was fine. And it was okay, so we did it. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Ciao for now.